Hey everybody, we are back and we are on day 22. This one is one that we all can work on. Our title for today is Aligning Words with Actions. Whew. I think as a whole, uh, we need to work on this in the church, not just the church that I go to, but the church in whole, brothers and sisters in Christ. We need to come up higher in our love. And our love is not demonstrated in our words, but it's demonstrated in our actions. Let our actions be true. Let our words complement what we do. So let's look at our nugget. True love shows in what we do. Therefore, let your actions speak and your words complement your actions. People want authenticity. They want the truth lived out, not empty words that bring about confusion and hurt. Live a life of love. Your actions should match your confessions. Take a moment to look at the fruit your life is bearing. This is a tough one. Uh, just from experience and, I, and people that I've counseled and people that I've helped, I've cleaned up many tears at the altar. I've cried many tears at the altar from broken promises. You know, our words carry weight. And so when we're expressing our love or our commitment to somebody, we should make sure that it's authentic. Um, people are damaged in the church because of broken promises, broken words, things that were spoken in a moment instead of forever. And you know what? It's best to live it out first. I know that when I was going through some seasons in my life, uh, people were saying, oh, but I love you, but I love you. But their actions were hurtful and it was confusing to my spirit because you believe what people say as a, as a believer in Christ. And so I speak this to you and let this be a conviction to all our hearts. If we're gonna speak into somebody's life, if we're gonna make promises and commitments, then we need to be people of action. And we should show and, and, and act out our love for one another first. And then let our words complement what we do. So what happens a lot is it's labeled hypocrisy because we say one thing and then we do something else. But we wanna do what we mean and let our words complement our action. So our scripture for today is 1 John 3, 18 from the NIV version. Dear children, let us not love with word or speech, but with actions and in truth. If as a church we'd come up higher and just show our love for one another in what we do and how we treat each other, there would be a lot less people hurting inside the church. There would be a lot less church hurt and so, you know, the Bible is so clear. It says, let our yes be yes and our no be no. And if we're not sure about something, then we shouldn't commit. We shouldn't put those words out. We shouldn't um, hinder people from walking out what they want to walk out because they're following the words of somebody else. So I encourage you, family, today. You know what? Sometimes it's better not to say things and just walk it out, live it out, and then at the end, compliment it with your words. Hope this encourages you today.